Welcome everyone, welcome boot campers, welcome kickboxers, welcome workouters. This is kickboxing level 3, we're at workout number 18. Can you imagine? So we're starting with a warm-up as always, boxer bounds, we're always getting in smoothly, then we're hitting it and then we're going into a nice stretch. So boxer bounces, please get used to your guard. As you know, elbows tight around the ribcage and your knuckles are playing around your cheeks. You can change direction, you can shadow box if you'd like to. Be quick, be light, simply bounce between your toe mounds, right and left. Avoid getting your heels on the ground as this will just make you slower. And who likes being slow? We want to be quick. Push-ups, warming up our chest, warming up our arms and shoulders. So getting down on the ground, get into push-up position, elbows wide, fingertips looking towards each other. Now brace your belly, pull and suck your navel in. And then get down. Chest to the floor, elbows wide. Get your face out of the way so you can go deeper. And this is 45 seconds, so now we're halfway. And if you need to, you can start lowering down your knees, but do continue all the way to the end. Please do not give up. This workout is mostly low impact, but quick. And this is basically the only real strength exercise we're doing here. Everything else is going to be explosiveness. And you did it. Continue warming up the shoulders. We're doing some shoulder rolls, rolling the shoulders backwards. That's basically rolling the whole arm backwards. So your palms are facing up, thumbs backwards, and now swing those arms in a circle backwards. Be quick about it. So we can warm up your shoulders. We will need shoulders for all of our punches today. And we are going to do all kinds of variety of punches. Everything you've learned so far, we're gonna do today. Change side, change direction. Rolling the arms forward, palms are facing up, thumb backwards. Brace your core and be quick on your shoulders. Get your shoulders away from your ears though. And faster. That's it. Mobility knee front. So make this a little bit bouncy because we need to get you warmed up. Hey, get the heart rate up. So we're coming from guard, then we're pulling the knee up to the chest and you're touching the outside of your ankle with your outside hand. The knee is coming up straight, so no coming in. I do not want you to turn your hips. We need to learn to get our hips square as well. And what you learn here as well is getting back into guard as quickly as possible. So hands in guard, your fingertips playing around your cheeks, your elbows protecting your ribcage. And now get the knee up, don't fold forward, don't sink forward, get the chest up, get the chin up, always look forward, always be straight. But you're pulling your hands back into your guard as quickly as possibly possible. <laughs> All right, high knee runs. This is one of the only high impact exercises, so you can go for it. High knee run on the spot, either do it on the spot or if you have space, you can also run forwards and backwards, you can run sideways, you can draw a square on the ground or a rectangle or a triangle, I don't care, just run. Just pick the knees up, come on. Navel in, get those arms moving, run his arms. I know this is hard, but pick the knees up as high as you can. Just go for it and rebound quickly from the floor. Don't get the heels on the ground, that will slow you down. Stay bouncy, stay elastic. You got 10 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. You did it. Okay, last one before we stretch. A simple and very relaxed hook. So don't go full on yet. Get your stance right, lift your heels, turn your knee, your hip, your shoulder, and let those arms fly out into a hook. Remember, you're looking at your wrist, so the back of your hand is slightly turning towards your face. 
while your elbow is flying up shoulder height. You're punching cheek, not cheek, uh, chin height. Punch is flying chin height. Perfect. How about your guard? Get your hands back in guard, elbows in, knuckles in. Remember to turn these feet, get those heels up, turn the whole leg, turn the whole upper body. Yes, and shake those arms out, shake them out. We're coming into our stretch, and I would like you to focus on stretching the legs, especially because this is kickboxing, so we're gonna do a lot of kicks. So get down into your lunge position, left legs forward, right legs back, get as low as you can, open those hips. Hip flexor stretch, hands on the ground, get ready for lunge rotation. So open the left arm up to the sky and stay, stay in the rhythm, in the move, just bounce it. We need this elasticity and we also need to stay warm. Coming back to center, stretching the front hamstring, folding over your left hamstring, and guess what you need your hamstring for? Front kicks. And I bet there will be some front kicks in here. Level three, kickboxing. So there's push-ups coming up. Since we already did some push-ups, up to you what you're gonna do. You can either hold it in plank, you can lift the legs, you can do some knee runs, but you can also do your push-ups. That would be 10 push-ups if you wanna do some more. And else you can just hold it in your plank and come back forward with left foot, turn towards the center, now adductor stretch, right adductor, leaning over to the left, right adductor stretch, side kicks, very important. And then sit it down all the way, get into the back of your leg again, hamstrings and adductors, pulling the toes up and sitting all the way on your left leg then change the other side that's the left adductor now inside of your left thigh bending the right leg come on get it into you will need this for your side kicks and uh, we do need a lot of flexibility in the legs because we do tend to kick a little bit too high don't we at least i do then sit down half squat flexing the hamstring and the adductor and then coming back into lunge with the right foot forward, left foot back. Come on, keep it moving. And then come down with the hands, get your right hand up to the sky or ceiling. Twist it, lunge rotation. So you're looking towards the right side, towards the bent knee. Open those hips up. And then we're coming back into center, folding forward. Stretch again over the right leg this time. Stretch the right hamstring. Fold it forward, keep the hips square. And then a little bit of cardio here so you get you warmed up again. All the stretching. Coming to mountain climbers, so knee, kneecaps coming forward in between your hands. So bring those kneecaps forward. Very good, be quick, be light, brace your core, and then step it up forward with the right leg, come back into center, roll it up. We're coming right into our workout. I hope you warmed up, grab a sip of water if you need to. And here we go, right side is starting with the kicking, left knee is coming up, so knee, side, kick. It's a bit of a mixture of the side and the back kick, so do whatever you like, side or back kick. What I want you to do is do a stomp kick. So the knee comes up first, the foot is flexed, and then you stomp your leg out. Good advice, always look the way you're kicking. One, not to hurt yourself. Two, not to hurt anyone else. That might be in the same room with you. Or furniture. So when you bring the knee up, tap your left knee with your right hand and then kick the arm back out when you stomp kick backwards. Speed it up as quickly as you can. This is low impact but high intensity. 
this is great for fat burn as this is great cardio but we're respecting the joints so try the same thing on the other side right knee comes up left leg stomp kicking and when you stomp kick you see this on the video my upper body is almost parallel to the ground so try to get your body acting like a counter wave to bring your leg up and you will find this is so much easier to bring the leg up. The leg is basically flying up the same time as your upper body is leaning sideways. Then all you gotta do is bring the knee up, stomp kick the leg out, bring the knee back in and put it down. Remember to always come back into your guard at some point, protecting your face, protecting your rib cage. Soft fist, you don't need to tighten your fist too much for the kicks squat knee yes there we go this is good work this is really good work so do this properly sit down into your squat then bring the kneecap forward while the upper body is leaning backwards when you lean backwards brace your core come on strength in your center now hands come from the guard to the outside of your hips or bring the arms overhead if you want to move or work your upper back a little bit. Your choice. But do this work very carefully, squatting low and then picking the knee up as soon as you come up. So you squat, you bring the knee up straight away. There's no pause, no in between. You squat, you bring the knee up. You squat, you bring the knee up. Love this one. Great work, good job. All right, coming to the back kick. So this is a pure back kick now. Same thing, but now you're really back kicking. So we're engaging the glutes. Left knee coming forward, same thing. And then stomp kick backwards. You could also call this a donkey or a horse kick. So the kick goes backwards, like you wanna run into a door or if you want to ram a door. Great one. So left knee coming up, right hand coming towards the knee, and then the right leg is stomp kicking backwards all the way. Come on, become quicker, get quicker. It's knee, kick, knee, kick, knee, kick. Come on, go for it, knee, kick. You can do it, two, one. Sleep by the bell. Let's do the other side. Remember, if you need a pause, you can have a drink, you can wipe your sweat, but then always come back. Right knee coming up, left leg stomp back, stomp kick back. Knee as high as you can. If you do want to add a little bit of a high impact, you can do a little bit of a jump here. That can be fun and is also teaching you to change direction. Just to stomp kicking back. And then the impact, if you do a little knee jump, is going upwards. Great for core training. Keep your abs braced. And be strong. That last few ones, that's five more seconds. There you go, you did it. Come on, let's throw in some punches. Jab cross. Easy one, right foot forward. So, punching straight forward. Always remember to be very careful with your joints. So turn those hips first. The whole leg, the whole hip, the whole upper body is turning. And then you throw out your punches. So when the shoulder is turning, the punch is basically flying out and then straight back in. Pull your fist back as quickly as you can, right into your guard, right back. Cheeks to your uh, knuckles to your cheeks, elbows in, and there's your guard. Right foot is forward, boom, there you go, five more seconds, come on, turn it. Hip, 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 yes, great one. Little boxer bounce in between and then we're changing over to the other side. So make sure you stay warm during those punches. Be really energetic, bend those knees, turn those hips, turn those shoulders. Left foot is forward this time. So left punch, right punch, left, right, left, right. Go for it. Punch out, punch in, punch out, punch in.
do more of what you love and you definitely need to love this great for your self-esteem strength force and kickboxing is just the best low intensity yet uh, high intensity yet low impact workout four more seconds jabs cross coming back to the legs squat kick so you're coming into your squat and now you're not just simply picking your knee up you're picking the whole leg up knee comes first just as we learn you know the drill then stump kick it forward start slow just like I did and then speed it up when you speed up do not lose your range of motion so squat low and back when you kick forward make sure your upper body is leaning backwards and just for the fun of it and because it makes you lean backwards more now pull the right arm back when you right kick put the left arm back when you left kick that's a fun one keep some kicking <whistles> saved by the bell all right here comes my favorite kicks are the roundhouse kicks did i tell you that roundhouse kicks here we come right leg starting so we do need uh, that's what we need our adductor stretched for so if you do need an adductor stretch post a video do some more stretching and then come into your roundhouse kicks so if you're doing single kicks you know the drill left foot is turned out right hip is lifted and then point your foot while you're kicking quickly swiftly fast to the side you're always looking where your foot goes and you're keeping your hands close to your body now get your side muscles working side obliques sizzle your six pack from the side i love these kicks i so do and that's why we're doing the other side straight away so a little bit of a boxer bounce in between to change to the other side keep it warm and then stay on your right leg right foot right knee right leg is turning outwards and then lift the left hip up and side kick it this is a roundhouse kick so we are pointing our foot and make sure you're leaning your upper body sideways counterbalance the leg coming out hands are close to your upper body always that's where you need them protecting your rib cage protecting your face and i try to kick as quickly as you can snap kick from the knee that's the fun of it it's snapping with the lower leg yes we're getting back there in a second but first of all let's do some more punches right leg forward left back behind uppercut so pull this uppercut from the bottom to the top back of your hand is looking forward you're looking towards your fingernails remember to always keep your thumb outside of your fingers and now punch it from chin height to forehead height you're basically punching in front of your face to the center remember to turn these hips brace your core and let those punches fly up very good stay centered don't move too much up and down you want to turn rather than moving up and down great let's try the other side if you want to swing your hips and shake your shoulders and do some boxer dances in between you totally can and there we go left foot forward right foot back come into the rhythm you know the rhythm so you're turning the heel the knee the hip the shoulder follows and then the punch is flying out of your shoulder yes that's getting into the right rhythm here punch straight in front of your face towards the center brace your core stay about at the same height with your shoulders the momentum is coming from your upper body turning hips and upper body turning is what gives you momentum use this yes 
there you go. All right, getting back to our legs. So we're not cooling off. Three pulse knees. Good work here, but letting our thighs burn a little. So we're squatting, pulsing three times, come up with the right knee. Squat, pulse three times, come up with the left knee. Squat, pulse three times. Right kneecap comes forward. And when you come up, you know the drill. The knee is coming up straight with you. So no first getting up and then pulling the knee up. You're pulling the knee up straight with yourself. Now when you push the kneecap forward, upper body is leaning backwards. There you go. This is a full body workout. And if you want to, as always, bring the arms overhead, thumbs pointing backwards when you pulse squatting. All right. Let's work on your strengths and your arm strengths a little bit. Full body strength, arm strength, push up, hold. Hold it. Start in plank position, stay on your feet. And if you need to, always come back onto your knees. And if you're rested, stretch out those legs again. Come back into full plank. Just play with it and hold it in a triceps push up position. So the elbows are tight. Come on, this is forming the most amazing triceps and shoulders ever. Hold it, hold it, burn it. Yes, burn through the fire. That's just 12 more seconds. That's 10, you can do this. Come on, suck the navel in, push the forehead forward, heels back, five more seconds, four, three, hold it, two, one, release. Okay, breathe it. If you need, pause quickly, get a sip of water, and then come back, double hook. Feet are parallel, feet stay parallel. So you're doing two hooks each side. First one is a little bit softer, second one is a little bit harder. So your punch is chin height, elbow is chin or shoulder height, and the force, the strength, the momentum, the speed is coming from your hips turning. So make sure you're turning your hips as well as your whole leg. Turn your shoulders with it. Yes, and now have fun with it. Really enjoy the second punch going all the way full circle. There you go. And don't forget your guard. Did I mention? All right. Just for doing me a favor, we're doing a few more roundhouse kicks. And this one, you can work on your technique. So you don't need to go too fast. I would like you to work on your balance. And I would really like you to see a difference between low, mid and height. Uh, high. So make a distinct low, mid and high kick. And don't overdo your adductors. They need some love. Now balance this, work your side abs, bracing your core, arms stay close to your upper body, more or less in guard, focusing on your legs, that's fantastic, come on, you can do a few more, keep your balance, strength, yes, that was fun, alright, shake it out, box the jump it out, shake your shoulders, shake your wrists, and we're doing the same great technique work on the other side. So standing on your right leg, leaning, leaning towards the right side. And now working your left roundhouse kick. Make it as beautiful as the other side, so the foot is point. Make three distinct kicks, that's low, mid and high. Yes, there's little a little bit of a cherry on top of the cake. There would be a jump with the last kick, but the difficulty is to land back in your balance. Not necessary here. That would just be for the fun of it. Yeah, you can do it. Come on, one more, one more. There you go. So what's left? That's four more exercises to go, and I would like you to stay warm. So we are doing a little bit of cardio here. The cross jacks, you know, there's not much of high impact. So enjoy these ones. Picking the heart rate back up, cross jacks. You know the drill. 
I've actually been picking this from the athletic work. I hope you don't mind. Just want to get your heart rate right up and burn a few more calories. Be gentle with your knees. Knees pointing out at all times, protecting the knees from falling in. Arms slide in and out, crossing up and over, up and under. And your feet crossing front and back. You are doing it right. Five more seconds came to the right place all right i hope you're enjoying it so far because we are having a little bit of a showdown with a side kick so no knee this time no need to knee <laughs> just side kick stomp kick with the right foot sideways so you're balancing on your left leg remember to turn the foot and the knee out into the same direction now lean over to the left stomp kick with the right make this your strongest stomp kick ever pulling the knee up first and stomp kicking the foot flexed out towards the side and just a little reminder never lock your knee always put the leg back before you completely lock it into your joint protecting those knees from overlocking doesn't hurt the first time but it sure hurts the hundredth time. Come over to the other side. That's our last kick before we do one more punch and then we stretch. So do this, your best, your strongest, your fastest stomp side kick. Leaning over to the right as much as possible. Come on, working your abs, side abs, sizzling your six pack, working on your balance. Letting you go with the flow here a little bit. Ten more seconds. Last kicks. Plus punches. Can I get some alternating hooks, please? We've done this for the warm up and we're doing this for the last exercise. Alternating hook. Where's the momentum? Where's the speed coming from? From the hips, exactly. Feet are turning, knees are turning, hips are turning. Shoulders, punches flying out from the shoulders. Come on, go for it. Last few seconds here. And then we stretch, punch it, punch, 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 punch. Go for it, go for it, take it. Yes. You have 10 more seconds to go. And then you're done, except for stretch, with level three kickboxing workout number 18. There you go. High intensity interval training. Let's stretch, kickboxers, boot campers, Side stretching, alternate left and right. And this we really need this time. We've been doing all these side kicks and roundhouse kicks, a lot working our core, our center muscles, and I enjoy this side bend to release the core, the sides, and also stretching your shoulders. Get your head in the game. The whole spine is side bending. Now we continue with arm stretches and if you need a jumper or a sweater, just pause the video quickly. Get yourself something to cover yourself to stay warm. And then let's chest stretch. Open arms to the sides. So from all these punches, arms forward, we do need to open our shoulder girdle again and also stretch our chest. So this is the simple version. I bet you also know the version with the hands interlaced behind your back. Who knows the version where you lean against a door or a doorway, bending the elbow and your 
just resisting against that door and stretching the chest. So whatever you like doing, whatever does best for you, stretch the chest. Biceps. Okay, let's start taking it down a bit. You can start to breathe deeply into the belly, bring your right hand forward, flexing your palm, fingers pointing down. And it can be enough, or you're creating a little bit of resistance with the left hand holding on to your palm. And then please change side. Left palm pushing forward, fingers pointing down. Hands are a little bit lower than shoulder height, so you can release the shoulders. Don't overlock your elbows. As always, we do want to respect our joints and not hurt our joints. And relax those arms out. Give me a triceps stretch right side. So from all these punches, punching back and pulling it back, we do work our triceps and our upper back a lot. So now find these sweet spots here that need stretching. Placing the right hand in between your shoulder blades. Now turn, twist the upper body a little bit. Push your right elbow towards the sky or ceiling. Lean sideways, maybe even crossing the right leg behind. And do this dynamically. We need to explore our body sometimes to find the right position for the best stretch. And you will need this. You will feel it when you have the urge to oh, give it a little moany stretching sound like wow this feels good that's the right spot that's what we're heading where we're heading for so it should feel good change to the other side left hand in between your shoulder blades stretching should feel good so it shouldn't feel like you're tearing something apart it should really feel like oh yeah something is opening up that hasn't opened up for the last hour, the last day, the last week, or the last months. So getting in some air and light into your body. So I hope you did enjoy our kickboxing level three. It's mostly low impact, but explosive training, improving your agility, your coordination. We're doing basically punching and simple kicks, but it's highly effective. Now move on to your leg stretches, squat, a quad stretch right. So grab your right ankle, stretching your right thigh, pushing the hips forward, keeping the chest up, the chin up, breathing deeply and try to keep your balance. Then let go and change to the other side. And the good thing about these kickboxing workouts is you don't have a contact, so you don't hurt your knuckles or your shins. Um, you're not getting punched as well, so no partner required here. Um, but we can get strong anyhow. And I can't stress this enough. Never overlock your joints and always pull everything back to center as quickly as you can this is part of the workout not just the flying out of the punches but the flying back of the punches is really really important get both feet on the ground feet are parallel and fold it forward into a hamstring stretch because what good is if we throw a punch and then we just let our hand or arm dangle in front of us then when do you want to come back into guard or throw a second punch and also it will bring you totally off balance if you want to come up with a kick afterwards so the center is where everything comes back to as quickly as you can and this makes the high intensity because it goes both ways we're going out and we're going in, 
flexion and extension in a very high speed workout. All right, last stretches here. And then you're ready for the shower or for having a big sip of water. Crossing your right ankle over your left knee, sitting back and down. Figure four stretch. And if possible, picking your arms up. We need to work our upper back a little bit. Arms are pointing backwards, arms in the V shape, V position. Sit it down a little bit more till you feel a slight stretch in your right butt cheek. You are doing it right. Come to the other side and guess what I'm training here. I'm working on your balance. Always working on balance because that makes your kicks better. Change to the other side, crossing your left ankle over your right knee. Rotate the left knee out, taking both arms up in V position. Thumbs pointing backwards, shoulders away from your ears. And congratulations, everyone. That's level three kickboxing workout number 18, high intensity interval training boot camp. We're having a core level three next. And then we're gonna mix it and drill it a little bit. What we love to do. See you there.